Now, pertinent questions were raised as parents whose children are studying in Finland and Canada under the Wasin Gishu County Overseas Study Program held a meeting with county leadership, including Governor Jonathan B., his deputy John Barot, and Senator Jackson Mandago. During the forum, which the county leadership used to ask the parents to clear areas to enable refunds of stranded students still in the country, the parents blamed the county leadership for what they termed as poor communication and lack of transparency in the program. Elvis Kuske with that story. The parents narrated how the program was they had believed in and trusted with the future of their children slowly started sinking one of the issues was why the university fees kept fluctuating. In Tarekumi, September 2022, Mamba ambaye tulikuwa tunaulizwa siku hiyo, tukasema, si hawa ulizwe, ndiyo tunauliza hafda wania. Sisisi na vikiri tulikuwa proactive than wale walikuwa nasimamia. Kwa sababu tungefanya siku hiyo, I think, hata saa hiyo tungekuwa tunafuta na maali. Hiyo, mwishima manda kwa ambayo umesema kila kuiti wewe kwa wazi, ingewe kwa wazi hatunge kuwa hapa. Wakati, wakati tulingia kwa, kwa kapa na siku hile, DG akatuambia you cannot be activist of your own children. Na sisi tulikuwa tunauliza what nini inaendelea? Watoto wanataka rudi kule Finland mpaka nikasema mbona msikimbie pale kujua ni nini inaendelea. Tumesema hiyo this hiyo uh, statement ya kila mtu jina ya mtoto yake na bila alilipa mtakuwa na hiyo form ama kartasi waangalie kama ubaliani hapana alipuka waje sukari na chumbi ikae kando wewe end of verify the parents said on several occasions they asked the county officials to present to them the fee structure and the memorandum of understanding that the county government had entered with the Finnish universities but their appeals were ignored by the officials tukaenda kwa ECC na DCI tukaandika yetu hakuna mahali tulisema mahali mheshimiwa manda kwa kula pesa we want a clear audit ya kuonyesha pesa wa wazazi ilipotea kwa sababu already wale wengine backlog imebaki nyumbani wajaenda tulikuwa tuna request mambo ya invoice kutoka shule tujue ni pesa ngapi ambayo imeingia kwa shule ni ngapi inadaiwa mzazi hiyo ambaye na hatukupata mpaka sasa hii problem si mzee sana hii problem si lianza july si ni july july August, September, October, November, December, do we in Andale. But by that time, there was no serious problem. It was just the accusation of Mara Pesa in Makulwa, Mara Nini, like the program, program in Guanafanya Nini, in Andale. If there's what we shall be asking the officers is whether the parents were engaged. Let's look now at the future, get to Piana Solutions. Yeah, watoto. Because what see what total the way to see when you can but I agree with you, invoices should have been shared. During the forum, the county leadership asked the parents to clear their arrears to enable refunds of stranded students who are still in the country. He lilipwa G Ilianda University. Ilifanya ile kazi ilikuwa nafanya. Ile kitu mimi nataka kusuggest bwana DG kwa wale wazazi wanataka kuangalia invoices allow them because the records are very clear so transpar transparency ni kwamba ile mabarua mmesema mungekuwa ye mungekuwa ya kwanza mutupe tupitie ndani kila mtu waone alibaki na wapi maybe muliniongezea wangu na sijui kulingana na rates the ECC is investigating allegations of embezzlement of over 837 million shillings similarly the probe will also focus on 57 million 538,429 shillings that was allegedly withdrawn by county officials appointed to manage the trust fund on tuesday the ecc grilled was in Gishu senator jackson kiplag at mandago as parents finished recording statements with the dci Elvis Kosge, KT News, Washington County. There are deliberate plans to include men 